Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. The American architectural panorama, constantly in flux, sought to define itself amidst historical footprints and forward-looking aspirations. In this dynamic landscape, H. H. Richardson's silhouette loomed large. His work became a compass, directing a nation's architectural journey, deftly blending centuries-old European heritage with the fresh spirit of American innovation. From the medieval cloisters of southern France, Richardson drew inspiration from the Romanesque, recognized for its pronounced massing, rounded arches, and textured stonework. Yet, he didn't merely emulate. He innovated, giving birth to what we now recognize as the Richardsonian Romanesque. This style, a modern-day reverberation of ancient motifs, became the bedrock of his illustrious career. Each structure bore the unmistakable hallmark of Richardson's design lexicon. The stone walls, monumental and enduring, weren't just barriers but canvases. He often selected stones indigenous to the project's locale, ensuring a natural synergy with the environment. Depending on the project, the stonework could range from smooth ashlar to rugged rustication, introducing tactile and visual richness. His play with polychrome stonework added another layer of depth, bringing alive facades with subtle color variations. His adoption of the semicircular arch was a masterstroke. Beyond its structural efficacy, Richardson used it as a rhythmic motif, punctuating facades or emphasizing entrances. These arches often bore ornate moldings, sometimes crafted from contrasting stone, transforming them from mere openings to focal artworks. Towers and turrets, with their varied elevations, formed an essential aspect of his designs. Beyond their grandeur, they served pragmatic functions, encapsulating stairwells or facilitating ventilation. These vertical elements, together with his varied roof lines, gabled, hipped, or mansard, introduced a visual cadence, breaking monotony while maintaining harmony. However, the design elements weren't isolated features. They were components of a larger narrative, meticulously woven together by Richardson's design process. Embarking on each project, Richardson would first submerge himself in its cultural and historical milieu. His European escapades enriched his mental library, enabling him to juxtapose historic motifs with modern requirements. The project site was then meticulously analyzed, its topography, prevailing winds, vistas, and diurnal light patterns all influenced his designs. Sketches were his initial dialogues with paper, fluid, unrestrained. But as the design crystallized, these sketches became more refined, aided by interactions with clients and craftsmen. The craftsmen, skilled artisans of their age, played dual roles, both executing and influencing Richardson's designs. Materiality was Richardson's playground. He revered the intrinsic characteristics of materials, selecting them not just for visual appeal but for tactile resonance, structural appropriateness, and contextual relevance. An iterative refinement process ensured that his initial inspiration seamlessly transitioned to detailed plans, with each design element harmoniously integrated. But Richardson's true genius lay in his holistic perspective. He envisioned projects not as conglomerations of individual elements but as singular, cohesive entities. Every arch, every turret, every material transition told a story, a tale of architectural balance where history met innovation, and form danced with function. In the expansive timeline of architectural evolution, H. H. Richardson's era stands out, not just for the edifices that bear his signature but for an architectural journey marked by introspection innovation, and an unwavering commitment to design excellence. His legacy is a testament to an architect who, with every brick and stone, sculpted tales of timeless beauty, harmony, and purpose.